let's have a look at this exam question in this video. So we're considering whether to study sociology or economics. Now we know that we will graduate for sure for sociology. Uh, our income would be 4 million euros. But if we finish to graduate economics, our income would be 8 million. However, there's a probability P that we're not going to graduate in economics. And if we don't, then our income would only be 2 million. Our utility is M square. So question one, for what probability are we going to go for economics? So let's write this data uh, in a better way. We know that the probability of graduating from sociology is 100% because it's for sure. So that probability is 1 and we know that our income from that uh, degree is equal to 4. And then we have a probability from economics of not graduating and in that case our income would be just 2. That's what we say over here. And if we do graduate, so that's the remaining probability, our income is going to be 8 million. Now the question is, when we would go for economics, well, we would go for that if in expectation we would have the same benefit, the same utility as knowing what we get for sure. So the expected utility for going for, um, for economics has to be the same as the expected utility of the certain option, which is sociology. So let's solve the math here. Let's zoom out to get some more space. So like that. Let's do it over here. So the expected utility from economics, expected utility from economics, we know that we have a probability from not graduating uh, times the money that we get if we don't graduate, which is two. And since we calculate the expected utility, we're looking at the utility function. So it's the income to the power two plus the remaining probability that we actually graduate and we would have income of eight and the utility from that would be 8 squared. So if we solve it, we would have 4p plus 64 times 1 minus p. Now, what would be the expected utility from sociology? Well, we know that the probability from sociology is 1 times the income from sociology is 4 and the utility from 4 is just 4 squared. So that would be 16. And now what did we say? We said that we want to make them equal. So we will do that. Uh, expected utility from economics must equal to expected utility from sociology which means that 4p plus 64 times 1 minus p must equal to 16 so if you open, open the brackets we have 4p plus 64 minus 64p equals to 16 now let's make it a bit better let's take the numbers on one side and the probabilities on the other side so we would have 64 and if we take 16 over there we would have 48 and then 4p minus 64p that's minus 60p equals to 0 which means that 48 equals to 60p and p which is the probability that we're looking for is equal to 48 divided by 60 which is 0 0.8 which is the same as 80 percent so if we have this certainty of 80 percent if we have an 80% probability that we are going to, um, what was it? If we have an 80% probability that we are not going to graduate in economics, we will still take the risk to do it. I hope this makes sense. In the next video, we're going to go through question two and three.